So uh, the team of people that we work with, uh, our, our Water Sustainability Committee has, has worked on a number of tools. And if you're going to empower and integrate and share and all this, you need to have tools to be able to work with. And so we felt we'll put our effort into the tools. Richard's going to talk a little bit more about the water balance model. And I just want to tell a, a quick thing on that. People ask me, why are you leading the water balance model? You work for the Ministry of Agriculture. This is all about development up in the, in the, in the cities. And my answer to that is that um, the reason why we're changing our stormwater plans in the Fraser Valley is because agriculture is suing local governments because they're getting flooded out. And they've been successful. And so local governments have had to start making change. And so that's kind of my job is to protect agriculture and how we're going to get good, uh, you know, good drainage. And I thought we can build bigger pumps, we can build bigger ditches. That's not the way to go. And so the way to go is the things we're talking about in the room here. And so we start, I start looking at how do we develop a tool that makes it easier to assess how well we're doing on this rainfall, rainfall capture. And that's how the water balance model was born and the team of people that I work with, I I'm so, just happen to be the lead of that. There's a number of other tools. Water bucket is what the tool that we're using to put a lot of the stories and stuff up. People can go to waterbucket.ca and get those. Uh, the other tools are more on the um, uh, conservation, but they're sort of part of the whole 